Hi, everybody. We're in Chicago at the 2014 Pitchfork Summer Festival. My name is Thor Harris. Hey, this is Alex from White Mystery. We got some ticks to the fest. We're gonna go give them to some kids out in front of the gate. And they're gonna love it. Being friendly, people try that first. Hey, excuse me. I have a ticket to Pitchfork. Do you want to go? What do, what do we got to do? Nothing. I've, I've sort of grown up in the cult of rock music, and it's a really pretty friendly, loving cult. You can join other cults if you want, and we're here at the summer festival meeting just the nicest people you know sometimes when you grow up in the suburbs you're told ah oh, don't get in that industry a lot of dodgy people i've been in this industry for like Thank you so much. since 1987 or something and i've met the nicest people so if it's a cult it's a really good one tell tell uh TV Land, what band you're in? Hi, TV Land. I uh, sing in the band Perfect Pussy. Yep. <laughs> nice they, to meet you. They rock balls. Thank you. So do you. Yeah. If you were yeah, going to yeah. choose a cult, what would you look for in a good cult? I actually last winter read everything there is about Jim Jones. Jim Jones. Perfect. Jim Jones cult. Yeah, yeah. And I learned about how in the early days of the Jim Jones cult, he and his wife were actually pioneers. And what they used to do was they would write letters to the American Nazi Party. <laughs> and, and be like, we want to join, we want to join. And then the people would write them back and they'd get their names and publish them. So people would have the outs on who was a member of the KKK and who was a Nazi. And before Jim Jones went batshit, he, uh, he and his wife were the first people in the state of Indiana and then thus in the entire Midwest to adopt um, children of a multiracial background. So early Jim Jones, I think. Yeah. I mean, you, you think like, Pitchfork and rock and roll and this whole scene is like sort of a cult. Rock I don't have enough merch to be a to be a cult yet. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like one bad t. No, it's a good. T it's a good t-shirt. Buy the t-shirt. The rock stars themselves are just a conduit. They're not what these people are here to worship. So when you come off stage, please don't forget to turn back into a human being. The act of performing itself, you have to have a yeah, a, a slight, yeah. To, I mean, like, I, I would be I mean, lying if, you know, you didn't get on like a power trip or, or you, right. you, know, you didn't feel a certain way when you're on stage. But if you can back it up, I feel like, I mean, I don't know if you're an Oasis fan. We're pretty yeah. big Oasis fans, but I feel yeah. like, yeah, maybe not the best fucking man in the world, but definitely, like, close. do your oh, thing. Oh, man. Do your Sorry, thing. you guys. I was showing nipple. We have to reshoot the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, nah. Hi, you guys. We're done filming for the weekend. Pitchfork Fest 2014. Tried to force some of my ideas about nutrition on people. They weren't having it. That's all right. Everyone was really nice. Hope you guys had fun. Chicago is such a great city. <laughs> <laughs>